टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक अ एक्सटेंशन बॉक्स विथ अ सिंगल स्विच एंड थ्री पिन प्लग फॉर योर हैवी ड्यूटी पर्पस इट मे बी इलेक्ट्रिक हीटर इंडक्शन कॉयल इलेक्ट्रिक फैन कंप्यूटर यू पी एस एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स सो हियर इज थ्री पिन प्लग विथ अ सिंगल डी पी स्विच Uh, you can see here it is it is a 32 amp dp switch um, uh, which you can use it for heavy duty with a indicator um, lamp to show that electricity is flowing this is a three pin plug so uh, today we will see how to connect this uh, dp switch with a single switch and make a extension um, cable with it so the uh, the back side of this is this um, like this so this is, is the plate um, where <coughs> the uh, um, switch uh, dp switch and uh, three pin plug is a fit uh, is has to be fitted so i have already fitted it uh, by pushing it so this is like this if you uh, remove this upper box with there is a like this uh so there are two screw uh, here and there are two screw already i have fitted it to fit it in a wooden box like this mm, so this is a wooden box you can uh, after uh, making a connection you can fit uh, like this and put two screws and fit and then after that uh, you can put the uh, cable like this so this is how uh, the box uh, is uh, present now what you have to do one by one connection we have to make uh, so uh, this is your tp uh, box like this so here um, uh, we have a extension cable uh, three core extension cable like this mm. <coughs> we have a three core extension cable uh, which is used to for the connection mm. uh, uh, uh so you will use that uh, it for that so this is a, a three core extension cable where which we are using for extension portion with the three pin plug like this uh, so we have a three extension cable um, uh, like this we are, so by using this uh, we can make a extension um, cable of this connection so here the tools required are uh what are the tools required tools required is a, a line tester a screw driver mm, cutter to remove the insulation uh, of that and uh, a screw driver set and uh, a nose player so these are the tools uh, which are required so let us begin now uh, so here you can see uh, this is a dp dp switch here this is a dp switch it has a line and a neutral point this is a line point and this is neutral point and this is r thing uh, so with the indicator bulb is connected to neutral and line already it is connected in uh, parallel so this line is inside this so it is connected in parallel uh, and uh, r thing is there line is there neutral is there line um, neutral neutral and line so again we have to connect it one by one like this so we will check how to connect that so first of all we will make an arrangement we will see this this is the core wire we have to remove the insulation of this with a, a, a insulation remover so one by one we will remove the insulation with a cutter so cutter has a knob like this so here is the knob uh, so we will remove the insulation one by one uh, like this 
so we have removed the insulation so same thing we will remove the insulation of like this again we will remove the insulation of red wire like this so we have to twist it strongly to make make it a nice finish so twist it properly and this black wire also you twist it properly green wire or thin wire also you twist it properly so after twisting all the three wires that is a red black and green so this is our thin neutral and red is a line wire or live wire in which electricity will come and this is neutral wire this is our thing so we have made this three wires of uh, three core cable uh, so end is connected to a three pin plug um, so we are connected it now how to do the connection of this three line wire we will check it so let us just check that so now you can see here <clears throat> so this is the line point l so here we will connect the red wire push the red wire and connect it this is the black wire neutral so push it and close it so this is neutral this is live or thing wire you have to directly connect it to the three pin plug so we will make it loose and we will take this earthing wire and directly connect it to the earthing point of this switch so see how we are connected this neutral wire black color to the neutral point of the dp switch and line to the line of dp switch earthing directly to the earthing of three pin plug now this is neutral this is line now we will connect it to this one by one through a extension wire So I have made a two cables like this. One is yellow and one is red for a joining extension point. And so we will uh, make this extension point like this one by one and join it. So this is the plug. So this uh, this is a uh, line two, and uh, this is line point. We will mm, just twist uh, this with 
a point like this and connect like this So we will twist it properly like this. And place it here. And tighten it. So this line wire, which is uh, it, uh, we have to fix here, this point, you can check here, and tighten it. So this is how your line connection is made to the line point now again we have to connect it with the neutral wire so here i have made a yellow color as a neutral point just push it inside and tighten the screw Next, you take this point twist the indicator lamp wire with this and put it in a neutral loosen it and put it in a neutral point and just tie it the switch like this so you can check here this is the three core cable this black is neutral red is a line wire green is our thing this is three pin plug this is a dp switch 32 amp so green color earthing wire is directly connected to the earthing point of three pin plug this black wire uh, neutral point is connected to the neutral of a dp switch red color is connected to the line point of the uh, dp switch l so already the l and n is written in the switch i have marked it with a marker l and n so this uh, uh, black is connected to neutral red is connected to line green is directly connected to the switch now again from the join point i have taken a neutral point as a yellow wire and connected it to the neutral point of the three pin plug with a indicator uh, line again i have taken a red wire and connected to the uh, line point of the um, uh, dp switch so this is how your uh, switch looks like now already I have connected mm. now you can <coughs> place it over a wooden box like this and fix it like this mm. over a two screws and again after that you can cover it with the Mm, 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 junction box uh, like this and so this is how mm, the extension cable is uh, made mm, mm, uh, like this again you have to put uh, with a uh, wooden screws like this and make it a uh, three core cable
so this is how it is made and um, you again you have to join it with a three pin plug like this uh, <coughs> so we have to uh, we already made it we can just uh, check the uh, point connection how we can make it um, uh, extension cable like this three core extension cable we have made now we can just check whether it is working or not I'll just connect it with a wire like this. You can see the DP switch is on, showing the indicator lamp is coming. And with the tester, you can check whether current is coming or not. See here, you can check the line wire, it is glowing and uh, this is a uh, mm, neutral and this is earthing and sometimes earthing uh, and the voltage will come mm. uh, so due to some leakage earthing voltage may come <coughs> if i'll stand over this and check uh, mm. because I was standing on the land a hearthing point was we were getting a voltage so this is uh, your live connection your live connection is there so if you switch off no connect no line connection no current some leakage are there now put it on current is coming no current so this is how you can make a single dp32 amp heavy extension cable with a 32 dp switch and a single um, uh, plug like this okay thank you we will be back with some more knowledgeable video of making electrical extension boards and all till then have a nice day